what are we going to do? Put a specialty grocery store in there? Who can afford that? No, I think our neighbors need us in there. Now at 10, in a little over a year, Positive Impact Ministries may have to move out of a food desert where for years they served nearly 700 families every single week. Good evening, I'm Paula Lucero. And I'm Josh Benson. Thanks for being with us on News Channel 8 on the CW Tampa Bay. A food desert is known as an area that has limited access to healthy and nutritious foods. So the Hunger Relief Ministry fills that need by giving out free food every Saturday at Tangerine Plaza on 22nd Street South. News Channel 8's Marilyn Parker joins us live from there tonight. And Marilyn, can you explain the deadline that they're facing? So the way Positive Impact Ministries explained it to me is that there is a company looking to put affordable housing and a grocer in this plaza. They have 15 months to get the financing for it. If that happens, Positive Impact Ministries has to find somewhere else to go. But after speaking with people in this neighborhood and the leaders of the ministry, they say the need here is huge and this is where they want to stay. Lemmy. My Marilyn. <laughs> we have a future reporter right here. <laughs> Nicole Willingham and her three year old son go to Tangerine Plaza every Saturday for Positive Impact Ministries food giveaway. It's hard for me to get food or keep food, so I appreciate them very much. I've been going there ever since they started. She and many others live in a neighborhood that's considered a food desert. They rely on positive impact services and the ministry has had a vision for this plaza. We would put a no cost neighborhood market. We will put a uh, healthy food pharmacy, a culinary arts center. They say it would create jobs and stimulate the economy but they say the city didn't go for it. Instead, they're continuing a plan for affordable housing and a grocer in the plaza, which would force positive impact to relocate. So oh, it's more than just giving somebody food. We're saving a generation of children that need our help. Like this family. And hello now. I asked them what's more important, affordable housing or free food? I would say food because we need we need food for some having a grocery bill taken care of would free up money for other needs, though there can be a stigma associated with giving free food. Some may believe that um, it would dumb down the neighborhood, so to speak, or enable uh, the neighbors to not have to go to work to pay for their groceries. Ray says it's time to remove the stigma and support working class people and anyone who needs their help. Now I did reach out to the city council member for this district. I'm waiting to hear back. The founder tells me she doesn't believe that the city has closed their ears toward them. However, they're just moving forward with the process that they've already had in place. She would like for the city to recommend a place for them to go, but with a need this huge in this area, she just does not want to turn their backs on this location where they've helped hundreds of people. We're live in St. Pete tonight. Marilyn Parker eight on your side.